See, you, you, you say exactly what you think in there, Sue. You know, I can feel the feelings there. You just say okay. That. Well, I'm I'm thinking about like you think my... it's unfair. Again, say why. <laughs> no, no, I don't. It's more about. No, you do. Say why. Oh, do I? Okay. If I think about myself as a teenager living in my parents' home, yes, I felt like I was just being pelted by their projections. You and were, but at some point you left your parents' home. And what I mean, did you choose to do? I went straight into a relationship, pretty much. I mean, I was 21 when I left home. Yeah, so you, but you went into a relationship. What, your parents forced you into the relationship? No. No? No, I was sort of evicted from home at 21 because they didn't really need me to be part of the family dynamic anymore. Yep. And I moved to another city and, um, and I sort of found um, a, a man who looked like he loved me and gave me the things I thought I needed. So Yes, you found a man who met your, some of your addictions. Exactly. Yep. So isn't that your fault now? But I didn't. I don't believe that I had any understanding of the dynamics. But, but it's like me saying oh, I murdered somebody, but I didn't know that murdering was wrong. But something in my soul would absolutely know that murdering was wrong. Like that's not necessarily. It depends what you've grown up with. But see, see, every every problem that you raise, I I, I say here's an extreme of that issue that you're raising. Is that logical? I don't think it's logical. There was a time you made the choice to go and have a relationship with a guy who met your addictions. Right. Your parents didn't force you into doing that. Okay. You chose that. That's part of the exercise of your will. Who's it attributed to? Well, part, for the most part, it's attributed to yourself. Not all of it, because God knows that some of your addictions in what you created there were to do with the fact that you hadn't forgiven your parents. Right. And for what they did, and they did some things to you which caused you to have some of those addictions. God knows that too. Right. Okay, so like... But can you see, you're wanting now, what you're wanting now is you want to go, okay, okay. I want a list from God of all the things I did right and all the things I did wrong. And I want God to tell me which one of those you know, I need to repent for, which one of those I need to forgive. Can you see if that, if that happened, you would never do anything sincerely? Yeah, I can see that. You wouldn't do any of this sincerely if that happened? Because I wouldn't feel it. Correct. Yeah. So you're going to have to feel through this process, and you mm. don't want to. You want me to tell you things, and you don't want to have to mm. feel through the process. Okay. I and you're going to that. have to feel through this process. Yeah. Right? Um. And you will feel things as you go through this process. You'll feel, oh, wow. Yes, you know that addiction that I had that caused me to go and get this man and marry him? Well, I was acting out that addiction, but that addiction came from my relationship with my dad that I didn't forgive. And I chose to not forgive right. in the moment. Right? I chose to be clueless about it. I chose to not investigate. And naturally I chose those things because my parents didn't want me to investigate. Your parents still don't want you to investigate, do no. they? No. So, so you know... How old are you now, Sue? About um, 64. You're about. <laughs> so you're 64. And, and your parents, how old are they now? Um, 82, 87. They still don't want you to investigate. No. Right. So, so sure, they are partially responsible for all the things that you haven't wanted to investigate because they impose that emotion upon you in your childhood. That's one of the emotions you're going to have to forgive them for. The fact that they didn't want you to investigate any truth no. and still don't. No. And that is certainly something you'll need to forgive them for if you want to move forward on the path. But you can't then say, as a 64-year-old woman, that all of your choices that you've made since you were zero have been the result of their refusal to allow you to investigate. No, completely no. not. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Does that make sense? Yep. So your choice to not investigate certain things was driven by your own desires, just like their choice to not investigate things were driven by their own desires, which they nurtured and allowed to grow. Yep. And then they put a heap of pressure on you as a young child to not 
challenge the status quo and they need to repent for that. But you then decided to not challenge the status quo and by the time you became an adult, you still weren't challenging the status quo. You still were going along with all of their stuff, even though sometimes you knew it was wrong. And everything that you knew that was wrong in particular, you're going to have to repent for. Yep. And the things you don't know, didn't know were wrong, you're still going to have to repent for, but there won't be as much of a signature about it, will there? As there was for the things that you knew were wrong and yet you purposefully engaged. Right. So for you guys now, if you purposefully engage anger after you've learned that it's a sin towards another person, that's much worse than engaging anger before you knew it was a sin. Can you see that? Yeah. So God, God looks at all these factors and situations. The question becomes, do you look at all these things? Right? Do you allow yourself to feel the feelings involved in the process? Right? For most of the time we don't. And that's why we don't have God's opinion about it all. Okay?